What's going on guys and welcome to the Create You Experience. Now today, remember, we jump into the podcast here soon. Before we do, we jump into an actual experience and you can learn a little bit more about the guest, which today we have Jorge Rosado. He's also known as yeah. Fitness IQ. It's snowing right now. It's a beautiful day. We just finished beautiful working day. out. Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. And he's just gonna talk through a little bit of how he's gotten to where he is, his powerlifting career, and what he does to really stay disciplined. So, George, like, like what does that all consist of? Man, uh, so again, some of you guys may know me as Fitness IQ, and you guys might know what I'm about, but those of you guys that don't know me, I'm a competitive powerlifter, competing at a national level I've been doing so for the last four or five years. Um, and the reason why I've been able to get to that level is because it all starts up here. And a huge part of that has been my morning routine. And I wanna make an emphasis on that morning routine because this is my grounding, right? Some people seek their grounding, whether that's from a spiritual form, a religion standpoint. Um, but for me, for me to ground myself, it has to be my morning routine. And that consists of waking up in the morning, waking up early. Now, I wanna make sure that you get this. It's not necessarily about how early you wake up, it's more so about how you wake up, right? How you initially start that day. And for me, it starts with hydrating, drinking water, making sure that I'm you know, feeding my brain, again, those fluids that it needs. Then from there, I'm meditating because I wanna quiet the mind. I wanna silent my mind and just sit in that stillness because again, I wanna get ready for the chaos that the day has to bring on. Then from there, I move on to some reading. I like to call it brain food, right? I wanna stimulate my brain and feed it some positive thoughts. From there, transition into aff affirmations. Positive affirmations is everything. Think about this for a second, right? You start thinking about negative thoughts, you start thinking about all these, all this negative shit, and then all of a sudden, you start realizing like, man, like everything's not going my way, right? And just how that comes true, why wouldn't it be, this, why wouldn't it be the same for positive thoughts, right? So positive affirmations, then from there you wanna journal, give gratitude, give gratitude for everything that you are, the universe that you are within you, everything that you have, everything that this life has to offer. And then from there, I get into my work, man. But that morning routine is, is imperative. I honestly feel lost when I don't do it, man. And right. especially when I travel, man. Yeah, yeah, so that's your experience. You know, it, it's really important to get grounded for the day. And the reason why he's been so successful at what he does with his coaching, he brings so much value. He was one of the first people to ever do infographics on Instagram and the reason why he's able to do that is because he silences his mind he calms his mind because life is very very chaotic so remember when you start your day any day try and take some of these principles into your own life and take it from there so we'll, that is the create you experience we'll talk more about this on in, inside the podcast yeah so let's, I, how about, let's, let's get into yeah that. yeah let's jump into let's it jump into thank you guys for tuning in for the experience this is George let's get to it let's get it My name is Brennan Myers, and welcome to the Create You Experience, where we ignite your breakthrough, create your experience, and bring your vision to life. Uh, I can't sit around and wait till it goes right Cause I've been hopping over obstacles my whole life I got a vision and I know it's about to take flight I'm dedicated to growth, I keep my mind right I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable Anything in my way, I'ma break through Lights, camera, action, take two Can't worry about what they do, you gotta create you Welcome to the Create You Experience if you didn't already hear in the intro, my name is Brendan Myers, and today 
We're going to be diving into a lot of shit. Oh, by the way, this is unfiltered again. If it's your first time listening or visiting, remember we're on YouTube and all audio platforms. And this show is all about digging deep, creating you, talking about strategies, structures, but also creating the guests beside me and really diving into topics and things that you may not have ever really known about that person or myself and really uncovering all the layers of life and what is possible. So today, George Jorge Rosado, you could say it however you want, <laughs> but he is a pioneer on Instagram, a very large following, an insane transformation, a power lifter, a beautiful beard, a very beautiful beard, I'm saying, and just an incredibly powerful man who has shown up a time and time again for people around him and especially himself, George. Welcome, my brother. Thank you, thank you. I uh, appreciate the intro, man. That was, uh, <laughs> I was touching, bro. Yeah, no, no, like, hey. I, I <laughs> this is going to be very funny. This is going to be very funny. This is going to be very funny. So, again, guys, if or girls, if you are new to the Create You experience, what we did here on YouTube is we created an experience before the actual podcast, and then we jump into it. So you get to know each and every person that is on this podcast before we even jump into any type of uh, anything that we, we talk about. Now, George, my man, t just just tell us, uncover like what is going on in your mind right now because Mofo, I know that you got a lot of shit cooking up. Man, I feel like my mind is always racing, bro. I'm always thinking about just life, really. Uh, and, you know, that's why, again, earlier we were talking about meditation. That's why it's, it's so important such a crucial part of my day to be able to create that stillness you know what is that i know especially because you're near me and i'm yeah. like it, 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 all the time you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah. but like you have uh, so much energy in, in certain places but you're also very very calm yeah. when it counts so where does that come from man you're a power uh, lifter you're I a power am. lifter I am. you're like a national champion like you you've done bodybuilding and you've won uh, very very like very often there so like where does all this yeah. stillness come with the energy so you know again some of you guys might know me as fitness iq on on instagram i you know started the infographics yeah uh, the do and don'ts and stuff like that just providing value really but um you know i'm a competitive power lifter i've been doing that for the last uh you know four or five years and um and i've also done bodybuilding so I, I i come from from that background and dude like just really kind of growing up man playing competitive sports you know from baseball to now powerlifting like i just always been a very uh calm individual in the sense that i'm more of a i, I can't get hype dude like i could get hype but i just like i can't get hype i can't like hype myself up externally you know what i'm saying like you mm. know how some people like like for example, like yourself, like you're 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 out there, dude. Like <laughs> you are out there. Hey. Versus me, like I just do everything more in you know internally. But you know this this calmness is not something that I've always had per se. It's something that I've been able to manifest and and um, you know really work on, man. Just because of the the chaos that um, you know we live in. Um, and you know, growing up, I I grew up uh, not very fortunate. Very, I, I did grow up now looking, because here's the thing, like you can only connect the dots moving backwards, right? Yeah. Like yeah, you can't yeah, connect yeah. them moving forward. So at that point in my life, right, like let's just say, you know, when I was younger and um, I grew up really poor, uh, right. you know, my mother wasn't able to take care of me and I had to live with my, with my grandmother for a good portion of, of my life. My mother had me when she was only 18 years young. Wow. Yeah. And um she just wasn't mature enough dude to take care of me so my grandma kind of took me under her wing and and raised me and and even then you know we're uh you know very poor so we just man like i remember <laughs> struggling to just get sneakers and running around my neighborhood just barefooted and shirtless like it was just that bad like taking cold showers all the time like having to heat up the the water on the on the stove in order to be able to just take a a, a hot bath dude Damn, uh, <laughs> shit. That's some real shit right there. Yeah, man. And and, and now look at, like, you're, you're very fashionable. Yeah. You show up for people all the time. So, you you create incredible content. 
You're always learning. Mm -hmm. You grew so fast. Like, where does that side of you come from? Um, so I think it comes from a place of fear. Mm. And we're getting juicy, folks. <laughs> we're motherfucking getting juicy. When I say when I say fear, I mean fear in the sense of not wanting to be like, let's just say my father. Um, my father would never really show it up for me mm. um, in my life. Uh, just not long ago, actually, uh, I, I've known that he's always been into drugs, but I just like recently, I actually ended up finding out that he he's uh, like a full time like drug addict. Like, oh shit! Yeah, like cocaine and all that, like heroin and all that. Um, and you know, my mother raised me. Well, my grandmother raised me as a as a single. Um, you know, as as just her. Like not even yeah, my grandpa was in the picture. A single grandmother. And then once my grandmother died, well, my mother had no choice but to take me in. Um, and at that point she already had my younger sister. So damn, just, bro, you've been through this. You've been through the, the stri like I've been through, I've fuck. Been through, bro, bro, that's nothing, bro. I've been, I've been through some shit, bro. Tell us. I'm telling you, bro. Tell me more. <laughs> so then, you know, my mother, uh, took me in and she pretty much did the best that she could, you know, as a, as a single parent, you know, both mother and, and father. And I don't know, man, just as a young child, like I remember when, living with my grandmother and I've, I've always had this, this kind of ambition, man. Like I just always wanted to do more because I remember our neighbors across the street from me when I was, when I was young, I, I think I was around like seven or eight or so. Um, they owned a, a van that they s sold vegetable, uh, vegetables out of, they used to grow their own vegetables. So they used to sell vegetables, fruits, stuff like that. I remember I would wake up every day at five in the morning just so I can go uh, with my neighbor and announce the vegetables like, <laughs> hey, guys, you know, we have uh, vegetables. We have whatever it might be right. for two dollars uh, a pop. Blah, blah blah. I was the announcer in the, in the van. And I remember he only used to pay me like two dollars, like two dollars at the end of the day and buy me lunch. But to me, I was like, holy shit, like two dollars. Yeah, like it was then a, yeah. at, that, at that point, I'm like, you know how much bubble gum I could buy with that? <laughs> like <laughs> I fuck with bubble gum, man. Yeah, yeah, like I, fuck, I like, like watermelon. You fuck uh, nah, I, I like grape. Yo, yo, grape bubble gum. I fuck grape. Yeah, bubble yeah. Oh, oh boy. yeah, boy. <laughs> hey so, man. So, so, but hold on, hold on. Go ahead. Don't go. Don't go on too too much bubble gum yeah. talk. No, no, a little I was, bit less. I wasn't gonna go into it. Okay, bubble. cool. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, it's blizzarding outside. Um, I don't even know how it is at this time of the year. Anyway, so like you're, it's so interesting because you talk. Everyone knows you for for workout stuff and mm. guidance and stuff. Mm -hmm. And like, I know you way more than that. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of these, these stories, not all of them, mm -hmm. but like, where does the, all of the, cause you're very intuitive. You're very in touch with your own body and you're in touch with other people and their emotions and how they feel and what they're saying. Mm -hmm. You know, where does that come from? <sighs> Dude, I, again, I was, I was raised by all women. No, nope. mm. like I was pretty much the only boy in my family. So, uh, you know, growing up in a house full of women, you know, with my grandmother first and then all my little, all my cousins who were also girls and then my mother and my sister, um, man, like I just, I, I've learned to just be really compassionate, man. Um, and just try to like be there for them because I, I saw myself as, as and even now still do actually see myself as as the king of my kingdom and by mm. my kingdom i mean you know my household and just like my my family like I, I feel like i've always had to protect them even when i was young when i was 10 like i used to be super protective of, do you feel like, like it, my mother do you feel like it's because you had to like like yes you were forced to I, yes i feel like i had to i again like my father was never in the picture so i i well, I, I again at that time I didn't know it, but like looking back, I'm like, man, like that. That was like a signs of my masculine energy. Just you know. so, do, do you feel like the feminine energy that you that you really learn about and you mm -hmm. grew up in, right? Because it was all around you. Do you feel like it it really transformed how your masculine energy is today, and what and like how that's represented across all of your relationships? Yeah, man, that's. Uh it's an interesting question, actually. Like me being able to look back at it now, I, I definitely would say so because 
I mean, that could have gone either way, right? Like I could have just completely had all that feminine energy or I could have just had just purely masculine energy because I wanted it. But would you have even had that masculine energy because you didn't, you've never experienced it before? You never that's, seen so it that, Exactly. So that's my exact thought. It's just like, man, like where, where did I kind of get that from? And I, I think it just comes from a, like, just like primal, like a primal like a, it's a primal, primal thing, sense. man. Like just a primal sense, dude. Like just being uh, or was it just protect- from society? What was it? Like you saw movies, you saw TV shows, you uh, played video honest- games, you saw these things, and then it created that. Um, no. If anything, I would say probably just my own like grandmother and my aunts like always just kind of told me like you have to protect your, you know, your cousins. You have to protect your mm. your your sister. You have to protect your mother. You you're the man of the house. And I remember actually now actually that I really like put some thought into it. I do remember this when, you know, my grandmother would tell me these things like you're the man of the house. Like, and like that really just at that point in my life would get to me like, damn, I am the man of the house, you know, like, so I got to protect them. So so what were your thoughts back then of like, this is what the man of the house does because that's a big difference from experiential, Mm. from an experiential side Mm -hmm. of, Hey, I'm in a feminine energy kind of place. And this is where I'm learning about being the man of the house Mm. and someone else that maybe has learned from their father and hey, this is how to be the man of the house. So like, what is your understanding and experience of that? Honestly, like then it was just a matter of like protecting my, my family, which Mm. were, you know, my mom, my sister, my aunt, like it was just that, like being able to be strong enough to be able to protect them and essentially, you know, carry some of the burden that they might have potentially been going through, you know, not being able to provide for me uh, as much as they, they, they would have liked to, mm. you know? So I had to continue to, like, at that point, I was just like, man, like, the man of the house just means, like, being, um, you know, understanding and just, like, not being ungrateful and not, like, trying to compare myself to the other kids that are more fortunate uh, than me, right? Like, not putting that additional stress on them, so. So, so, so actually, this is, a, this is a huge. This is a, a big thing to talk about because a lot of people that are listening or watching right now, yeah. remember on YouTube, the people that are listening or watching, mm-hmm. they might know someone very similar in, to the situation or the same as you, mm-hmm. but I feel like, you know, sh- not showing up for people or, or like we, we get that confused, like what showing up for someone really is, mm-hmm. you know, and like, hey, I need to be the, I, I need to lead. I need to do this. I need to do that. Well, the truth is we get to, right? That's first of all, like we have that opportunity to do that. And second of all, when we are standing for someone else or we are protecting or, or whatever or supporting someone, sometimes it's, hey, you do it alone because that's how you're going to be able to grow or like to protect themselves. They need to learn how to protect themselves because you're not always going to be there, right? Mm-hmm. So what are your thoughts on that point of view of saying protecting? Because obviously that was when you were younger, mm-hmm. but like how are you now? Is it still, do you feel that burden of like, hey, if I'm not there, if I'm not taking control of this, if I'm not really holding on and whether it's financially, anything, everything that it's going to all fall apart. Like, is that your thoughts or like, what are your thoughts on that? Um, so even to this point, my mom, um, she, she actually lives with me. She, um, she's not financially, you know, independable, so she can't take care of herself. She's, you know, ra- rather ill woman at such a young age. She's only 45 years old, but she has lupus and, um, you know, she, she wouldn't be able to support herself if it wasn't for me and I am all she has. So it's funny because like looking back, man, I'm like, man, what if like all that was priming me to be the man that I am today? What if, what if this is my why? What if this is part of my why? Like what if this is my, my purpose? And as, as Victor Frankl says in, in his book, in man's search for meaning, he says, and I quote, a a man who has a person who has a why can bear almost any how and i think the reason a huge part of why i've been able to thrive and succeed and not give up has been because of that because i know that i have to to lead and for me uh, a good leader um especially when it comes to your household means to be able to carry the burden of those who cannot carry them, carry it for themselves. Mm. 
And I know my mother's, it's, it's not strong enough to do that, but I am. Right. You know? Um, that that's so dude, I, I love where this is going like it's also it's very tricky mm. it's very fucking tricky because right. as as you feel like hey i'm able to carry this and i'm and it's not about caring i don't, I don't want to use that word carry because mm-hmm. i feel like it, it is creating a burden like you have that opportunity right you have the uh, opportunity 100%. to right so th- let's use that yeah. now like you have that opportunity well so here's the thing like I, and to be truthful and transparent, like, yeah, like at first, like I was like, man, like this, like I would beat myself about it. Like, damn, this sucks. Like, you know, I'll never be able to do this. Or especially when I started getting into social media where I was just like, man, like only if I didn't have, you know, this burden, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, the more I, I got in tune with myself and really just, you know, was able to do deep work, man. I was like, dude, like, I'm fucking grateful, dude. Yeah. Like I'm fucking grateful that I can I can provide for my family. Like not many people can do this, dude. Yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? Like not like not many people can do this and and if they do, they have to sacrifice so much. And my mother has sacrificed so much for me that it would be <laughs> man, it would be a shame if I wasn't able to look at this in, in a positive uh, mindset and essentially say like, man, like I'm showing up for those that need me the most. Yeah. Like if I, if I can show up for people on Instagram, if I can show up for my friends, like, and I can't show up for, for my immediate family, like what kind of shit is that, man? But let me ask you, man, are you showing up for yourself? Or do you feel like you're sacrificing things in your life? during this process as well um so of, of course my ego would want to say things like that but I, I i try to nip it in the butt as fast as possible because but what do you what do you what do you mean your egos because because I, I look at it from the perspective that if you're sacrificing something mm-hmm. then you're actually cutting off part of your vision that's in your own life so like how 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 can you live in the both and and do both and be grateful for both and and really pursue both full on, right? So like, so I've been able to do it to this point. <laughs> like I've I I never thought I would be where I am today, and I've been able to do so while being in the position that I've been. And I think a huge part of why I've been able to do so is because of that. Because my back has been against the wall, dude. Like I've I've had no fucking choice. It's either that or literally have no roof over my head. It's either that or not have any food on the table. It's either that or not be able to pay for my mom's medicine, dude. Like, and that's the thing. Like, even to this point, like that's when when we when we talked earlier. Like, if you remember, I said fear, and I use. I've been able to transform fear into a friend. And what I mean by that is that I use that to my advantage. I let that shit catapult me. Like, mm-hmm. yo, the fear of not being able to pay for my rent, like I better go out there and hustle. I better go out there and do what I need to do in order to provide for my family. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, so to answer your question, man, I, I no, I don't feel like it's, it's um, I don't feel like it's holding me back, but I feel like if anything, it's, it's added more fuel to my fire to do the things that I do and continue like the to both do end. Like, like you, you want to be able to use what's happening in yeah. your life as like a, not a victim story, no, but 100%. more so as something that's igniting. So that's something. Yeah. Even so that's what I said, man. Like, dude, that your ego loves to play the victim. Your ego loves to, you know, look at adversity, look at situations and be like, because of that, I, I wasn't able to do this or because of that, I can't do this. And I think a huge part of that is because it's afraid of of taking that away and being able to enact and positive life changes, right? Like being an alchemist of your fucking life, being able to turn lead into gold. And that's what I've been able to do, man. Like Lead again, into gold? Yeah. Dude, that's some serious shit, man. Yeah, like that's you, what, did, you just literally you, you turned lead into gold? Fucking bro, I right. will invest in that company. <laughs> you tell me how to invest in that shit. Well, that's what Alchemist does, man. 
like it, it takes negative energy and transforms that shit into positive energy you know what i'm saying like you always there's always a positive in something bro like here's mm. the thing like and this is i i think about this every day man um or whenever i'm going through something uh that's uh you know rather not pleasant it's that there's somebody out there right now in this world that has it worse than you man not only that but there's somebody out there that has it worse than you and is thriving there's somebody that has had it worse than you and yet they've been able to thrive dude like i've I've, I've heard of i've i've heard of uh some stories like people in africa like they like they they get their right they get rice right they get like water they get like they're, they're obviously like the most minimalist of, of all of them mm-hmm. and, and and i i've heard stories of people and actually my sister went to i believe kenya or nigeria one of the two and said that those people over there like and i've heard these from friends those people over there are so happy mm. when like when they're eating mm. they're fucking screaming at the top of their lungs like yo this is amazing they, they like they're just happy they're all laughing with each other yeah. and it like really puts these things into perspective it's like what is it in our lives? What is it in our society in the United States specifically that allows our ego to get puffed up so big that we, number one, we, we complain. Number two, we judge. Number three, we're not happy. Number four, like we fall off path. We allow fear to cr- like cave us in. Like, what is it? We're spoiled, man. <laughs> We're fucking spoiled. But deeper bro. than that, what is what is that but spoiled? The, but the, but like, that's what, what I'm trying from? to say, bro. Like we're we're spoiled. Think about how comfortable we live, bro. Think about the opportunities that are in America. Like, dude, like not even if you're not able to take care of yourself, like the government the government will take care of you. <laughs> like yeah. you know what I mean? Like you're you're the government enables some of these people. Like, granted, yeah, some of these people can't actually, you know, take care of themselves, but there's people out there who who are Man, well and capable, fully functional human beings who just create these fucking stories in their head and they choose to live that reality because without it's easy, it's easy and they wouldn't know who they are without these stories. And I think that's a huge part of the reason why a lot of people, you know, stay in bad relationships. Because they're afraid of, of their true self. They, they they're, don't, they're, they're they fearful don't, of it. They identify themselves with that. Mm. So they create this this person in their mind 100%. Of, of who they are, mm-hmm. and then they're fucking afraid yeah. of of who they really are yes. and what they're really capable of yes. and the things that they can actually overcome. Be- yes, they they use use they use things like such as a crutch, right? Just like you know, playing the victim, like because of this or because of that or because of my disability or, w- or whatever it may be. You know, they they like using that as a crutch because if they don't, they literally have no fucking excuse man it's like it's like you know what this reminds me of you know nick nick s 100%. from tampa tampa oh, florida yeah, great example man one arm yeah literally one, one finger dude. yeah one of the most incredible humans he will yeah. be he will be on create you yeah. the create you experience for sure Speakers, but like everything victim Speak. to to victor you, you know his his book he has a book yeah. and it's like you look at somebody with not even fucking legs and just one arm and he can go up and talk and and ride a skateboard mm-hmm. and go fucking snowboarding and do all those different things. And you know what he does on social media? He talks about the good shit. Yeah. He doesn't bitch. He doesn't complain. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say like, hey, oh, man, like I wish I had two legs. I'm sure that shit goes on in his head sometimes. Yeah. But like, let's look at our circumstances. Dude. We don't have any circumstance, like yeah. bad circumstances. So what is the benefit of actually succumbing to those thoughts, though? You know what I mean? Like... Nick is a perfect example of an alchemist, bro. Like he's turning yeah. negativity into 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 positivity, man. And you know, it's it's. I feel like that's the difference between those who you know uh, really succeed in life and and those that don't, man. It's just like, are you gonna be a victim of your circumstances, or are you gonna take responsibility for your fucking life and be an influential person? You know what I mean? And, and influential for yourself. You know? And it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be. For a million people. No, no, no. That's what I said. For oneself. Like, right, right. Being an influential person for oneself. Like, are you the person, um, you know, are, are you somebody that you that you would like to be? Are you somebody that you look up to? You know what I'm it, saying? It, like, do like, you look up to yourself? Would you hire yourself at a job? Would you hire would yourself? You, would you leave $100 cash 
on a table like be the and person trust that you would yeah, not fucking steal it like be the person that you would like to meet you know what i mean yeah damn mm. yo yeah this is some some awesome shit no seriously hold on first of all like really like even if you think about that for a second like take a piece of paper out and write down what kind of person would you like to meet like if you were to be in a relationship with somebody else you know what what are the values of this person you know what do they do as a hobby how do they speak how do they, what are their manners and a lot of the times dude like it's a direct reflection of you right oh you know what i'm saying like, almost all the time yeah. yeah and this is what i tell people like in the in the book four agreements which is one of my favorite books it's talking about that like not taking things personally because a lot of the times your perception of me is a direct reflection of you energy exchange you know what i mean um so that's why i don't take things personally man and even when i say if i catch myself being judgmental or just you know uh saying anything or um you know comparing myself i i i stop myself for a second and I look, why, why is that? Right? Like I ask myself, like, why, why is that? Why is, why is this happening? Who's speaking? Right? Mm -hmm. Like who, who is, who is this voice in my head speaking right now? And if, if, you know, if you're able to do that, like it creates an immense, it, it creates immense self-awareness and it's not comfortable. So guess what? Because it's not comfortable. Your ego is going <laughs> to do everything in its power to, pull you back to that comfort zone it loves and, your, yeah. your ego loves being in the dark so when you create self-awareness it's like shining light in, in in a dark place you know it's like shining light on a shadow man so like get out on those skinny branches in your life like stop holding on to the big ass tree trunk bro, and I'll, climb up that shit bro you if you have a you're, you're a fucking garden man and you have to go in there and clean out all those weeds from time to time all those negative people that are trying to pull you down trying to hold you back from growing and flourishing to what you're more than capable of like everything that we want is here it's already here like it's here right now like everything that you are like you're more than capable of it here right now mm. but it's just you know again so how do we how do we combat all those negative thoughts because i'm bro i'm going to be honest with you yeah. like i've i've dealt with anxiety my entire life Same. i've gone through shit my entire do. life I still right do. Yeah. so like when when you're in that instant, mm -hmm. what do you do, man? You go into a quiet place. Do you read a book? Like, what do you do? Because there's a lot of good, there's a lot of shit that we combat every single day. Yeah, uh, yeah, man. Um, it's crazy, man. Because I feel like a lot of the times, majority of our thoughts, I would say at least <laughs> like ninety percent of our thoughts are are negative thoughts. Um, and you know, even with myself, like shit creeps in there, man. You know. Like I'll 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 be doing something and all of a sudden I will start thinking about like just something completely random will pop in my like head. Peanut like peanut butter. Like where the fuck did this come from? Like peanut butter. Like I am happy. I I'm having the the best time of my life right. now. I'm thinking about this peanut butter. And then the peanut butter comes in. You're like, no, fuck you, peanut butter. I'm an almond butter type of guy. I am an almond butter kind of guy. Are you? Know? Yeah, 100 <laughs> percent organic almond. <laughs> specifically no but yeah like something something different and and actually like we're joking but like yeah no no real no. shit you know like something nasty comes in your mind something no like that's what i'm saying coming. like dude and and like you'll feel like all of a sudden like you'll feel like your body uh your body temperature will change or just your your whole demeanor will change like have you have you have you ever like have you ever walked into a room dude and like you just feel like this like negative energy or like have you yo. ever met a person and you were like yo like i like i haven't even talked to you my guy and i already feel drained as fuck <laughs> <laughs> yo you know my guy I mean? my guy but dude that's i'm already parched. energy is a real thing man yeah everything's an energy exchange man you know what i mean and that's why like i feel like we're just not dude we're we're not um we're not careful enough yeah. of how we spend our energy who we give our energy to and who uh, we take energy too because we are what we consume. You know what I mean? Is this how you talk to women? <laughs> I'm like, yo, what's good, ma? You trying to get? No, some ice no, cream? that's bullshit. That's <laughs> bullshit. That's some fucking bullshit. No, the way you talk to women is the same way. I don't. And, I don't, and, and I don't, that's yeah. beaut. That's beaut. That's beautiful. Yeah. Like, bro, it's like real shit. Like, take notes if if you're listening or watching. Like, fucking take notes because <laughs> like the way you're talking yeah. to everyone here is how how you should show up for for someone else 
that you want a relationship with, like male or female, right? No, most importantly, real talk though. This is how you need to talk with yourself though. Because here's the thing. The longest relationship that you will ever have in your life will be the relationship with yourself. Let me repeat that one more time. The longest relationship that you will ever have in your life will be the one with yourself. Yeah, I'm having a heart attack right now, man. That was fuck, bro. No, I'm being that serious. Yeah, I, I'm dead ass serious too, man. Because that shit like it's like, powerful, dude. Yeah, that hits that you. shit hits hard because because that's the truth. You know, we go to sleep with ourselves every single night. One hundred percent. We brush our teeth, bro. We're with hopefully ourselves. twice a day. We're with ourselves, like twenty four seven. Like even when you're pooping, bro. Everything pooping. Even shit, like even when like you have stomach cramps, like everything Bro. hard, like easy, strong, like whatever it is, yeah. and it's so important to. So that's and this is why this is why you need to not stop, but you need to create more of a habit of of being there for yourself. Like, and this is I know this is might make some people uncomfortable, and it did at first. But yo, like when I'm going through a tough time, dude, like I'll dead ass look at myself in the mirror and be like, I got you. I got you. Because I've gotten myself out of these situations before. Like me, myself. Like, and, and that's the thing, dude. Like, majority of my life, dude, like, I've I've thought like that. Like, if not me, then who? And what I mean by that is that if I won't do this for myself, who is going to do this for? For me, no, there's there's no magical time. No, no, there's no magical person that's gonna. Yes, there's mentors along the way and people that you know give you certain things and uh, expand your horizon and magnify certain things that you might not know that you had within yourself. But all the answers are already within ourselves. We just have to go there. We have to go deep, dude. But we just don't. We're afraid of it, and it's uncomfortable as fuck. And I will tell you from firsthand experience, because even now, after all the work that I've done over the last couple of years of deep work, and, you know, again, it's a continuous thing because I think this is a, a never ending journey, right? Like this is not something that you just do as a 12 week program or an eight week program. And, and, and that's it. Like you're good for the rest of your life. No, this is a, this is something that you have to show up every fucking single day, every single minute, every single moment of your life. You have to be your own mentor you have to be your own coach because and, and, at the end of the day like i said you're you're the one that's with you 24 7 dude you know what i mean yo you're making this really easy for me by the way i don't even have to speak <laughs> this is great i'm listening man you know, this, this, talking, is, man. this is this is beauty bro like honestly like this is a lot i have a lot of respect for this because i knew this is the type of person you are mm. and this is how you like to show up it's very interesting to me because I'm just going to call it as I see it. And this is the experience that I have. Do you mind if I share it? Absolutely. Go ahead. I feel like you don't show this side of you on social media. <laughs> and it's funny that you're saying show up for yourself, show up for yourself, show up for yourself. But bro, are you truly showing up for yourself on social media? Here, here's the thing, man. Like, I, I just don't feel like I need to show up for myself to that degree if I'm, if I'm actually doing it. Like, I don't need nobody's approval. I understand. You know what I mean? I totally get it, man. Like, I'm on board with that. Yeah. But like I said, and like I asked, mm. are you showing up for yourself in the way that you want to really show up for other people on social media? Like, are you going there on social media? Are you really, really diving into each post with, like, something more philosophical? Are you going and fucking speaking at places? Like, getting invited places and going there or like putting yourself out there to speak on this level because dude, this is powerful shit mm -hmm. and not, not everyone was just born to speak like this and to be able to really tap into the heartstrings of each and every individual in front of us. So like, I think that, um, uh, I do, I do, I do incorporate, you know, a lot of the, just my thoughts and experiences. It's almost as if I had a, a public diary or a public journal and I, and I try to be you know rather open on your story and, yeah no in my in my instagram as well with with my captions like if you take the, if you take a second to read my captions my captions are usually or a minute uh depends you know, on how fast you read i pretty deep i try to <laughs> i try to provide value and just try to like you know show up 
in the sense of uh of like you know being vulnerable letting people know that just because you see me and i have 300 000 followers and i'm always positive like dude like i go through this shit all the time it's either because i've been through it i'm going through it or i'm gonna go through it because life is ebbs and flows man like all this stuff like dude like and this is why it's so important to live in the present man because you know we have to appreciate the now for what it is because it's essentially all we have in reality um and if we're continuously just you know sitting in our in our sorrow and negative thoughts and, and comparison it's like man like what happens when when all these like happy joyful moments come in your life like you're you've made a habit of like trying to find the fucking bad out of every situation like oh like yeah this is happy but it's just like oh man like when is the next time something bad is gonna happen you know what <laughs> i mean dude that's exact that's like ex i do that all the time oh all right i especially i have i used to mm -hmm. it's you know if something bad happened i would be like oh shit when, when's that gonna happen again or like how's that gonna happen or you know what i mean mm -hmm. like how will i react and that's that fear creeping in and the ego grabbing onto the fear and being like mm -hmm. yeah that shit's fucking strong the evil side of us is like hey you won't be able to uh, accomplish this or hey you won't be able to succeed through this or like this is gonna really bring you down yeah and it, it it's funny that you <clears throat> say that and you talk about you know react because that's that's what is that's what it's all about man um and what i mean by that is that we i feel like our society now um reacts for the sake of reacting like dude like you don't need to react to everything like dude just let people do the dumb shit they do like you know they don't need your react you don't need to react for everything man there's a way to communicate. There's a way to com communicate how you feel. Not even that, with them bro. acknowledging it though. That yeah, but not even that, bro. Like, dude, like, just mind your business, man. Like, but but uh, but I, <laughs> I've I've loved everything you said, but like, yeah. I will disagree in that regard. Where I believe it's very very important with relationships and communication to be able to touch on something that may bother someone else by really just asking a question or asking if like. Hey, is it okay? Dude, I agree 100%. Okay. I, no, I agree. We're, that, that's a different topic. We're talking about relationships. You know I'm all about that, man. I'm talking about people in our society just react for the sake of reacting to the news in Florida of the man. Like, okay. dude, like, why, I, do you, why, I do you need, why, why do you need to react to that, man? Like, how does this play a, a role into your life? Like, what does this really add to your life? You know what I'm saying? Gosh. Like, Kylie... You know, Kylie Jenner's did this and she cheated on Tiger. And like, why do you need to react to that? Like, why are you is wasting? Really? I don't fucking know, man. Oh, I don't care. Shit. But I'm just saying like, this is the Bro, kind this of This might be news. This might be like, <laughs> like for real. Like, breaking well, news. Breaking, and, uh, oh, Kylie Jenner. Oh, shit. Uh, I, I, according to my source. <laughs> <laughs> according to my source on the crate you experienced, Kylie Jenner has cheated on Tiger. Yeah. You know. Tune so, in so, so next that, week. <laughs> so that's what I mean, man. And, and that's, you know, Stephen Covey talks about this in his book a lot, man. Like you know between between this between your st between the stimulus and your response um there, there's you have the ability to choose and that's like there's that's very powerful because if you really think about that right for a second it's just like again most people like something will happen and they'll immediately just like react like yeah. immediately like just based on their emotions based habit it's habit exactly it's the you know discipline I mean? of bad habit exactly but if you actually take a second to find that space in between and actually choose the response you want like that can be very powerful because at the end of the day like that's all yeah. dude that's 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 all we can control it's essentially like our response to things yeah right like how are we going to respond respond to that adversity that happened to us in life right like are we, are we going to be reactive or are we going to be proactive right are we going to let the weather dictate whether we're going to go into the gym or not, right? Let me ask you. Go ahead. Are you writing a book? Not. Nah. <laughs> Are those reading glasses? They're not. They're just for style. So, oh, hey, interesting. Hey. Well, uh, my boy, <laughs> my boy, Shrek. get some reading glasses. Yeah. Get a nice pen, and I'm talking about the one that you fucking dip into ink and write a fucking book, man. Bro, what you think? This because is like this is some those, real. Bro, this is not this is 1950s and shit out here. Albert bro, Einstein, yo, put a mustache on me. But you're turning lead into gold, bro. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, this is Einstein type shit. But it, it, in all seriousness, 
when when we really look at all these situations, mm. fuck, like we we choose at all moments of our life. Mm-hmm. We choose, and whether or not we want to believe it, like you choose what time you want to sleep. Mm. You choose where you take your mind. You choose, mm. hey, this peanut butter or, or almond butter. <laughs> you know, you choose reading glasses or or, or stylish glasses, mm. like. Big, small, chunky, thin, whatever it is, we choose. We always have a choice, man. I mean, granted, you know, some of these choices have certain repercussions that you might not necessarily like, but all in all, we always have a choice. And, you know, somebody will say like, oh, that's easy for you to say when you don't have three kids and, you know, you have to provide for them. Like, I, I get it. I know where you're coming from, but it's, it's it's still a choice, right? Like you're choosing to do that because you know you need to provide for for your family, right? So it's just like, in essence, yes, like we always have a choice. It's just certain choices don't necessarily have the outcome that we need in this season of life, right? Because that's what life is. So what and season? It's just, again, it's very, it's independent on each individual, man. So there's, there's seasons of life, dude. Sometimes we're going through winter. Sometimes we, you mm. know, go through summer and we just have to understand that, you know, that's, that's just life. That's it's just it. like. It's just like, uh, I'm going to lighten up the mood a little bit. Um, it's already light. It's beautiful. Like, lights shining bright. But it's almost like the se- like different seasonings with your fucking food. It's like, which are you going to choose? How are you going to create? How, what can you create out of what you, what you have in front of you? You know, like, if you have salt, pepper, basil, you have oregano. By the way, ladies, I am a chef. Anyways. Um, no, here, nah, bro. You, yesterday you said you, you hate cooking. I, dude, that's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up. He's throwing me. A, Put him on the. But 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 here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> okay. I I I know I cook. Okay. I cook. And you cook. Six, I, what, I, sixty minute rice. It, <laughs> sixty. <laughs> takes me thirty minute minutes. Rice. It's called it's called the speed on the uh, on the. Anyways, my my thoughts on that actually yeah. we can shift a little bit. I was yeah. talking about the seasonings of life and everything, mm. the seasonings of food. But like cooking, I think it takes time. Obviously, it takes time, right? And I believe that my time depends on what you're cooking. My, <laughs> my thoughts on on cooking yeah. is it takes time away from my overall vision of what i'm looking to create and that's for me mm. and i think of the same thing with laundry i think of the same thing with like cleaning up things even though it's discipline you don't need mm. to clean if mm. things are already clean you know mm. type thing you're mm. already take cleaning up after yourself yeah. so like marie Kondo, Kondo, what is it marie Kondo method the the mm. not following uh, never mind. Let's just skip that. Yeah, let's shift back. Yeah, see, we just chose. We just fucking chose. Yeah. That's beauty. That's beauty right there. Mm. But like for me, mm. and and this is actually I advise this to other people. I'm like, hey, if you have the means to be able to bypass cooking and mm. either hire a chef or spend more mm. money on this or that or pre-made meals or whatever it is, do it. Same thing with laundry. It's the same thing with so many different areas of your life. If you can, do it. Because then you have more time to focus on your vision and being creative, and really building what you want to build. I, I don't, yeah, I, I see where you, I see where you're going with that. Like, and that's the beauty of having the you know uh, the resource of of money, right? It allows you to actually buy time because now you're paying a meal prep company to send you food. Therefore, you're saving yourself an hour each and every day, which over the course of weeks and months save you a lot of time that you can actually be putting into your business into your vision. However, what if some people like I personally, I love cooking. I see it as an art. Like right. it's something that's meditative to me mm. and that, you know, I, I know what I'm putting into, into my body when I'm cooking it. And I just, man, like I, I genuinely just love it. So, you know, again, that's, that comes to, to choices and you kind of just have to really who you are, what's your yeah, vision. Yeah, like, like, how does that, cause, cause same thing while you could say that like playing basketball is meditative for me or mm-hmm. boxing is meditative for me mm-hmm. or playing guitar is meditative for me mm-hmm. or just me meditating is meditative for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So like with cooking for me, I look at it as a, it's fun to do every once in a while mm-hmm. and I have the means to be able to pay for it. Right. Like, like the majority of people don't mm-hmm. Let, let's be real. No, it's a luxury. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a huge luxury in my 100%. life 100%. and I'm so fucking grateful for it. Yeah. And so the reason why I wanted to bring that up is because I feel like, we only, oh, we almost are afraid of doing things like that, like paying for something so that it's serviced for us. Mm. You know, like we won't even pay that extra 
two dollars for a tip for someone to maybe wash our car or like or or fill our gas or whatever it is mm -hmm. you know so like is it actually our ego pulling us back um, or is it or dude, is it like what is it uh, dude I, again that's that's just gonna vary to person to person man some people are legitimately like financially tight as shit they're like one fucking flat tire away from being broke but but no 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 <laughs> but, but but you see i'm not talking yeah. about only financials no no and and I get that there's a certain so that, point right there, but, that's but it's what also I said. support. Yeah, no, but that's why I said like it's gonna vary person to person. So it's gonna be that individual who's like legitimately tight on money, and then it's gonna be that individual who has the money but has but still is living in a scarcity mindset. So what if it has nothing to do with money, and this has nothing to do with money, but it's all about support? What do you mean support? So if you're getting someone that's gonna you're gonna hire to cook your meals, mm -hmm. they're supporting you by cooking your meals. And supporting your vision because in reality you're spending money mm. on something so that you don't have to focus on it so you can focus elsewhere and again grind towards your vision or, mm. or strategize or whatever it is so like in different areas of our lives you know i see this all the time is that you're walking down the street and and like some like certain people just don't want support they don't want help they don't want anyone to interfere with what they're doing because they think it's going to affect them or or they create these scenarios and stuff and i'm actually getting to a point by the way i'm not mm -hmm. just fucking rambling okay it's like does this come down to society telling like teaching us as we as we grow and age and stuff being a baby all the way up until now that hey you can't really ask for support you got to grind yourself you got to make it happen yourself it's the me 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 attitude if i don't make it happen no one else is gonna it, it can help me make it happen like mm -hmm. is do you think that's interfering with society today do you think that's what's really the issue with with the world in a sense um that's a that's a that's an interesting question because i can i can be you know, uh, that can branch off to, to many other things, man. But I, I, I would say yes and no. Um, now, I would say yes because, like, I've personally been through that where, you know, my whole life I've kind of had to support myself and my family. So I've always just kind of, like, just let, for the most part, like, just my, lead, my let my ego lead from that sense of, like, okay, like, I have to do this for myself. Like, nobody's going to do this for me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't ask for help. And as of the last couple of years, like, you know, I've had to be more vulnerable in the sense of, like, shit, man. Like, I can't wear all the hats. Like, you know, be a master. What is, what is it they say? Try to be a master of all, be a master of none. Master of all crafts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None, that's what, it, that's what it is. Crafts. I said it right. Um, You know, so I've I've had to essentially, you know, ask for help in areas that I know that, it's just like, man, like, this is going to be a win-win situation. Like, if you can help me with this, I can help you with this. We're creating a win-win situation. Like, Support. You're, it's, you're it's, actually supporting their vision. You're supporting what they want to create, right? Yeah. Um, but I think some people just don't know uh, how to communicate well as well. You know? Some people that, just that's my, that was my problem. Some people just don't know how to communicate how, um, you know, how, how, how can you help me? You know what I mean? And not only that, but I think because of that because they don't know how to communicate that to somebody else it, orig it originates because you don't know how to communicate that with yourself you know what i'm saying like like how can you ask somebody for help when you don't even know what it is that you need help with damn are, are, is this in your book the one that you're <laughs> writing i see your glasses changed <laughs> you know what i mean though yeah, no, like, like it's, it's how like, are you supposed to, how are you supposed to ask for support when you don't even know how to communicate to yourself? Like, Hey, this is how I support myself. Like, this is why I drink so much water or during what it the is day. that like, that's you what, want or what it is yeah. that you're thriving for. Like, what is your vision? A lot of people don't have, you know, clarity so, and stuff. Dude, know? in, in, in the creative fitness Academy, which you're a part of as well. Yeah. Um, you know, like the first section, by the way, it teaches you how to build your business online, whatever mm. you can go to creative fitness academy.com if you want to check it out. But it, it always talks about when you first start a business, what you should do is learn about your own story, mm -hmm. learn about who you are your so wants, that you can needs. actually, yeah, your, mm -hmm. your wants, your needs, why, why this, what, what does this look like so that you can then branch off into seeing what different departments you may need help on mm -hmm. or what you even want to create or what's that strategy is in your life that, yeah. that you're going to implement it allows you to analyze things you know what i'm saying like it really like if you're able to like have that why and have more of a, of a clear vision you know what i'm saying like you're just not you're not out there shooting darts in the dark you know what i mean you actually you have 
a precise target. Right. And that allows you to say no more often to the things that don't necessarily serve you. You know what I'm saying? And that's even with yourself. Like, fuck, like this habit is not serving me. Like, how can I, uh, you know, implement new habits that are going to allow me to get closer to my goal on a moment to moment basis? You know what I mean? On a day to day basis, whatever that oh, may be. Bro, you were like a one. <laughs> I, dude, you used to be, when you came on here, you were lead. But now you're fucking gold. Bro, I stay gold. Alch- hey, man. Wow, that's I, alchemy right there, man. Bro, I just, yeah. I, it's because I work hard at it, bro. I practice it, man. I see everything as an opportunity for me to either grow or or not, man, really. You know what okay, I mean? so you have this soft and gentle side with all the women and everyone in your life. I, I just wanted to throw the women in there because, you know, <laughs> just cool to throw a little bit of seasoning on that beautiful salmon. I love salmon, by the way. Salt bay. Salt so, Salt Bay. <laughs> <laughs> and you, so you have the, 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 like, you're very comfortable around people and you make people feel comfortable mm. and you're very philosophical. Let's talk about the fun you, bro, because I've been dancing with you and you know what? <laughs> I always talk about this. Not many people like to twerk, but you, my man, Amen. you know how to twerk sometimes. Amen. I like to twerk, bro. Hey, oh, no, no, no. I like to. Oh, thank the here, Lord. Here's the thing, man. Can we, can we do a prayer quick? Thanking, uh, thanking the Lord that someone else that's joining the Create You Experience actually yeah, twerks? Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. I just, uh, <laughs> dude, uh, you know, dancing is, it's it's a fantastic way to uh, express yourself. Or you go in. But I just, bro, I just see everything as like, I don't know, man. I feel like I see life through a different lens, bro. Like, I feel like. Bro, I've seen you dancing on walls. Like. Bro, I dance in the bathroom, bro. People know people who watch <laughs> people who watch my IG story know about like I I be dancing, dude. Like, here's the thing, like, all right, like next time you're in a bad mood, like, I promise you, next time you're in a bad mood, <laughs> literally, turn on your favorite song and just dance like nobody is watching. It is not possible for you to be upset or negative and do that at the same time. I promise you. Like, I promise you. So every time I do feel like that, that's an another form of me like Dude. trying to get myself in in the mood like if i catch myself in this rut i'll just straight up like just stop and like play like just blast music you see me on my ig story bro and i just be dancing dude and i, I actually swear, had to like, mute you I, I had to mute you because like you just dance too much so yeah, i had to dude know, because I I, to. here's the thing like you know i go through a lot of like a lot of overthinking a lot of like you know anxiety and stuff like that and i, I feel like a lot of this comes from uh you know overthinking it's just built up energy I just feel like don't we don't exert ourselves enough, you know, throughout the day. Like we live in a very sedentary, um, you know, society nowadays, and that that's where you know fitness and like going for a ten minute walk, like dude, like the amount of clarity that you get from something like that, it's because you're actually taking that energy that you have built up inside of you, and you are exerting that. It's not building up. It's expression in there. Yeah, one hundred percent, man. So it's just like do do express yourself. Express yourself in any way possible, right? So, however that is, whether it's art, cooking, you know, singing, um, just what whatever that may be for you, just go out there and don't be fearful of it. Don't be fearful of it because Mm -hmm. there's so much beauty in, like for instance, for me, yoga, Mm -hmm. something new I was getting into, and 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 boxing. Like I got really good at what I actually tried. Well, I I've done yoga one time prior to last week, and I almost died like my body dude like i it just it's well, weak well, what, what, <laughs> isn't that interesting it, yeah because because it's like a I mind was completely body out of my element i was completely out, out of, my of your element, element. but here's the thing yoga it was beautiful. Is, is it's literally a mindset that's what yoga is about 100 percent. but and, so here's the thing though real quick not to interrupt you dude no you did yeah i don't yeah <laughs> um no but seriously here, here and like this is something that's like i that, that, that was pretty cool because we we live in a very comfortable base society like we're we're comfortable with everything like we have this this circle right here right and within this circle right here like it's all the things that we're comfortable with whether that's crossing the street our relationship putting food into the microwave and then outside of this circle right here it's all of the things that are outside of our comfort zone right and i just feel like we don't do that enough so that's the reason for me taking cold showers because I felt like I was getting too complacent and too comfortable in my life. I was like, man, like I'm really not like, is is this it? Like, 
like I'm just waking up, like you know, doing my morning routine. So why don't you do, dude? Can I challenge you to a couple of things? Um, what are the challenges? Well, dude, come on, like, can I challenge you? And you're like, yeah, yeah. sure, accept the challenge. Yeah, sure, I'll accept the challenge, Brandon. It's on camera, okay. so that's that's literally a verbal agreement. Thank you. Um, I'll see you if you if you go against it. Uh, so, like on your Instagram, I would love to see you actually be a little bit more philosophical and like really touch in on on different topics a little bit more mm. because even I like I'm, I'm someone that I, I actually watch it like mm. I watch your stories I watch your post I, I like read your posts and mm. stuff and I do think that that's more that has a lot more to do with your vision long term mm. right we're not talking about powerlifting right now we're talking about so many different sides of uh, or different elements of life and how to evolve and how to create you right how to create the true meaning of your vision and everything that you want mm. and so that's my first challenge and my second challenge is to go try yoga again and do more of a beginner, I a did. beginner. Bro, that was the ba that was like oh, a, shit. that was like a basic, okay. that was the basic. But here's so what I was getting at. But you accept those challenges? I accept those challenges. Okay, he's gonna man. try yoga again. Uh, well, so here's the thing: I already do incorporate the philosophical things into my Instagram. How a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay, yeah, okay. you accepted it. Okay, but with the yoga man, like, and this is what I was trying to, uh, you know, drive across was that, man, like, I remember last week when i was in that class like i was so oh, sure it was last week it was last week i was literally so damn present because this was completely new to me like i literally had to think about everything like powerlifting for the most part yes i'm mindful but it's just something i do like fitness is something i do it's kind of like brushing my teeth like right you don't have to necessarily think about brushing your teeth you know with the with the hand that you usually brush your brush your teeth now i'm a righty whoever's a righty out there Try to brush your teeth with your left hand and try to not be present. <laughs> I promise you that it's not possible because you have to oh, focus so much that it brings you into the present moment. And that was that was that's what happened with this with this yoga class, man. I was like, damn, bro. like that was it was so meditative. It brought me to such a present state because it was completely new to me. So now I'm like, it's kind of like a novice thing. Like, man, like I want to do more of it because it it released dopamine and made me feel good because now i'm like i i want to progress in that right like and i could actually see that versus you know powerlifting like i'm actually i'm you know i've been doing power just lifting in general for 10 years like at this point yeah. i consider myself more of uh you know i've kind of mastered the craft to uh to a certain sense and i just have to kind of sharpen the saw from time to time right or just every every session that's what it is it's just another another opportunity for me to continue to like just sharpen my sword in, in practice so what you what you just this is what I got out of that. Mm. Okay. What I got out of that was that you need to use both hands in life with everything that you do. If you grab the bread out of your, out of your, your cabinet, grab it with your left and grab it with your right. Sometimes if you brush your teeth, use your left Yo, real talk, and use your right. Sometimes I'm confused as fuck right now. And sometimes you, when you're confused, Dude, what use, if we just talked about Nick, man, both what sides if you don't have arms, bro. Damn. Come on, man. That's very interesting. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, we're going to shift. We're going to shift. <laughs> Damn, bro. You just, you just like threw that shit in there. Like, I like had, fire. you ignited a fire. I had to because you were like, yo, grab that shit with both hands. I'm like, yo, what if some folks are listening and they only, you know, they're fortunate to. to okay, so you're hand. very serious right now. Okay, I, I really love that. I love that part of you. Um, <laughs> I was fucking around. But at the same time, I'm not fucking around because when you really look at it from that perspective, because you did say, you mentioned that you like try it with the other hand. Mm -hmm. Like when you're doing yoga, that's a whole different thing that you're doing. So like that analogy, it, was the analogy was literally, mm -hmm. Hey, use both hands in your life. Like use both sides, try both sides. Like don't just box on your right side, box on your left side. Don't just choose this, choose that. Like really spread open your mind a little bit more mm -hmm. to learning a different way of doing it because each way is different, right? One way you, you write with your right hand, it's mm -hmm. going to be different than your left hand. Well, basically, bro, all boils down to this, just to simplify, I feel like we're overcomplicating this particular topic right here. What I'm trying to say is that just just make it a habit to to expose yourself to more things that are uncomfortable, whether that's using your left hand or your right hand going outside on a run without a jacket, sleeping on the floor, even though you have a bed, um, you know, trying to eat everything that's in your food 
instead of trying to eat based on your impulses and just your emotions when you have a full fridge and you know like that's what what i'm trying to really but 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 here's the thing dude is i I don't even think that we're we're like talking too much on the subject because the truth Mm -hmm. is is that we don't get out of our comfort zone and Mm -hmm. when we don't like the majority of people do not get out of their comfort zone and they don't try these different these different things in their life and they settle all the time well we we like we like the known the ego loves the known likes staying in the known i know i know but like and and we we understand that everyone Mm. knows that yeah but the fact of the matter is if you keep on doing the same shit over and over again you don't evolve you don't learn exactly. from it. You don't, you don't experience. So that was my point of really, really honing in while trying to be a little bit funny, by the way, sometimes I'm just not funny and that's totally cool. <laughs> but at this, but at the same point, there's a lot of value in that. And that's why it's an important subject. I mm. can literally talk for five hours about mm. getting out of your comfort zone and doing mm. this and that, yeah. you know, but like, that's where, that's where you've evolved. And, and so that's yeah. like, like powerlifting. That's you've not evolved. where I, that's, that's how. Okay. Yeah. That's how you grow. Like yeah. it, here's the thing, like if you're not growing, you're 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 dying. Like not to be morbid, but like like you're you're actually regressing. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 literally all about continuous growth. Like that's what life is. Like you have to each and every day you have to choose to grow in some way, shape, or form. And that doesn't have to be this this grandiose thing where you're changing the world. Like, dude, it can be the smallest thing in the world literally choosing to meditate for two minutes two minutes out of your entire day yeah. can mean some people can't even growth. quiet down their mind now that's what i'm saying like anything that you normally don't do that you know that will benefit you like right now right now i want you to think about this what's one habit literally and think about it what's one habit that you can incorporate right now that would move you closer to your goals or will add benefit to your life like what what is that just think uh, about that how about, how about we give an example yeah. right so for me okay what is that for you uh, for me it would be oh man to be honest is the way i eat right uh-huh. so i believe if i could every single day have a greens juice mm. okay like real shit yeah like yeah. if i could have a greens juice every single day yeah. which i lack discipline in that way i'm just yeah. like ah oh, man i don't I, mm-hmm. like when i feel like i want i i do want it i'm like mm-hmm. fuck man like it's all the way over there in the cabinet like mm-hmm. first world problems yeah. hello so like for me i'm gonna i'm gonna create that challenge for myself have a mm-hmm. greens juice every single day yeah for a month for 30 days you know what's funny in my bullet journal actually because <laughs> that's something that I'm, I'm i'm bad with as well like i i i don't honestly i don't prefer vegetables and i know people are gonna like freak out a little bit but i just i don't know man like I you just, don't fuck with veggies i don't fuck with veggies do you, like do, that. which ones do you like i mean i could do dude oh man i could do damn i can't even talk spinach Pepper? baby baby spinach baby spinach I not like even baby, the big spinach I, yeah i could do That's baby spinach adult spinach, spinach, throw, spinach throw on a little yeah. smoothie and shit you know yeah. were, were you <laughs> was that like fucking were you like working on you like a mechanic in that sense or like, <laughs> you, oh. you know what i'm saying you work on the car <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And that's that's what you know, that's what so life is. adding fuel to but yeah, you but, wanna have that. Okay, so these these so these habits, right? I lose using the net the analogy of a mechanic, think about these F one or these Formula One drivers, right? Like they are, you know, moving literally on all engines, but every couple of laps they have to stop and they have a full support system that literally within seconds gets them back up and running. And dude, like you literally have to think about yourself. Food's as the a, same thing. Well, think of one hundred percent. Like, dude, just not not even that. Just your habits, your the shit that you think, dude. Like these, this is what we were talking about earlier. Like, this is all your your support system. These are all the things that energize you, and this is where you have to really come to, you know, uh, you know, clarify these things for you. How, like, what are the things in your life that you can do each and every day to express yourself in the best manner possible and run on all engines so for me it's greens juice right green for you, juice what's it, what's it for you well you said that you don't you're you're trying to make it a habit so. right right so what's one thing okay. for you <laughs> oh we're not we're uh, gonna we're not gonna like end this without okay. you fucking telling me what you're gonna no, do no, no. for the next 30 days um so next 30 days dude this is so um one habit that i i guess i've been trying to um instill a little bit more um it's funny because it's also been like just drinking more greens juice just because 
again, like I just don't feel like I get enough micronutrients or, you know, essential uh, vitamins and, and minerals. And I know how, you know, beneficial that can be for your health, your vitality. Right. Um, but man, one habit that I could do each and every day, a new one. Dude, I just do, like, I, I'm literally working like, like on six habits right okay, now. Okay, so greens juice, okay? Yeah, so I would you're greens juice awesome. with me. You're doing the cold showers. You're actually I finishing do. that. I just, you, yeah. Yeah, so, like, you're doing all these different things. Yeah. So, like, if you're listening or watching right now, I want you to create something for yourself. Like, it would be, it would be a challenge probably for the first couple of weeks, right? But it yeah. would turn into a habit yeah. and something like, you're going to keep on doing cold showers, right? Yeah, I definitely am. After I, I've seen what what they've been able to do for me, so I want I definitely want to continue. It's incredible, right? So definitely, like you're listening and and, and viewing right now. Remember, we're, again, we're on YouTube and all, and all mm. audio platforms. Like we talked about a lot, yeah. we really did. We talked about going through tough times. Go ahead. What, what do you what no, do you want to say? Real quick on the habit, just because I know how hard habits are to break. Um, you, you have to just real quick, just because I want to provide you guys with a little bit more values that you, you want to create a system around that. And what I mean by that is that you have to pay attention to the triggers, right? You have to create a trigger for this particular habit. Um, and by trigger, I mean, like, for example, when I wake up in the morning, for me, coffee is a trigger that in my mind, I'm like, oh, shit, I smell coffee. It's time for me to read. So that's my it's 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 my and I'm sorry, it's actually my cue. So you have to create a cue for yourself. Like, all right, like coffee means read. Read means meditate. So it's just like you can stack, mm. you can stack habits. So like, ca so caffeine actually gets you ignited. But but that's just for me, like my cue. And it, right. it, it, it me, it would fuck me up, dude. Like <laughs> like I start banging my head against the wall. I'm like, dude, dude, dude you don't dude, need caffeine, this? bro. You're high of, of yeah. life, bro. Amen. My Yo. brother, you give me some depth. All right. So Sunlight. so I, I I'm going to. I'm actually going to close now because do it. we could talk forever, bro. We, we literally hands could talk down. forever. Hands down. And we're, and we're definitely going to, well, we should do a part two. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a hundred percent going to be a part two. This is, there's a lot people need to think about with this one already. I just don't feel yeah. like we need to overwhelm uh, them. Yeah. So there were a lot of funny things said there. It, it was here and there, like so many different things. Mm -hmm. um, but let's just summarize, you know, like you grew up in, in a rough spot. It, everything wasn't easy. Right. No, no. And things were, things were difficult for you. 100%. You had to go through shit. Um, mm -hmm. But you persevered. You kept on pushing. You you took the next step in your life, and you learned more about yourself. Mm -hmm. You learned how to talk to people. Mm -hmm. You built relationships, and from that, you formed the awareness of the people around you and what you were doing in your life. Mm -hmm. And you kept on evolving, evolving, evolving. And you got into powerlifting. You became very successful with that and bodybuilding. You even were successful with that before. And now you're in a place where. You're, Maybe you're do really, this for others. yeah, you're yeah. doing this for others and you're showing up for not only yourself, but your mother mm -hmm. and also people around you mm -hmm. and you created you. And not only did you create you, but now you're fucking creating other people. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty in this. And every single day you choose, you get to choose and you create these habits and this discipline. And you have a, you have a shirt that literally says what? The, yeah. Discipline or motivation. And, and it, it's so it's so it's so funny, man, because how the universe works, like it all it's everything, man. It, it all it, it goes back and forth, like energy exchange is is, is everywhere around us. And so that's pretty much the summary of what everything we talked about. And also yeah. remember, when you're brushing your teeth, use your right hand and your left hand. Yeah. That's like the most important part. No, oh, use and, use your opposite hand. Whatever whatever hand you use right now, use the opposite hand to that. Right. And the beauty beautiful thing is that you've literally <laughs> learned how to turn lead into gold. Okay, so can we turn lead into gold here? Can we make it, like? Can we have some lead here? And can, we make it like, can we make it happen? There we go. So, so there you have it. That's that, you, This is beautiful. This Yo, is beautiful shit. Yeah, real talk. Just be alchemists in your life. You know, like just <laughs> okay. Take, we're gonna take responsibility. Team, let's cut. Let's cut them off of the audio. No, 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 no. I'm not over it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, hey, guys, if you want to follow George, where where do they follow you, man? They can find me on Instagram, which is my main platform at fitness underscore IQ. Yeah, fitness see the IQ luscious, underscore luscious, IQ. Luscious beard. Yeah, okay. he has a beautiful beard. Okay. He does not wear prescription glasses. No, I'm just, I'm just going to change my name to like the bearded Zen dude or something like that. Bearded Zen dude. I fuck with that, dude. Dude, that, that should go hard. Dude, right? yeah, man. Yo, I'm gonna, yo, Zen, yo. yo, Mike, yo, grab that, grab that name on Instagram. No. So, so, <laughs> Sell it to him for a hundred dollars. Yo, you know how many people are gonna probably gonna buy that domain right now? Yeah, right now. Shit. Yo, yo you better get, fucking hurry up. Yo, Austin, bring me the. Bring, <laughs> go on GoDaddy.com right now and see if uh, it's available. Austin's his assistant. 
Yeah, also my sister. <laughs> but but yeah, so down below in the description, you've you've already heard about George. It's it, yeah. down in the description, you can check out seven free products when you review uh, the crit you experience on iTunes. Remember, we're on YouTube and we're also across all audio platforms. Um, again, if you want to follow George, go ahead to fitness underscore IQ. Um, anything that you're like, you do coaching, right? So if anybody wants powerlifting coaching. Yeah. So I mainly focus on, you know, assisting others and coming together with others to help them with, uh, their powerlifting journey or their bodybuilding journey or just general fitness. Really. If they just want to really more life coaching, they want to increase their frequency and elevate at a higher frequency. Well, Hit okay. me up. <laughs> oh my gosh. God bless. I love that. Um, so yeah, definitely go follow him. Check out all of his stuff. Remember, the Create You experience is coming every single week. We have so many different types of guests, people mm -hmm. from, you have mm -hmm. homeless people all the way up to people like George that are just at a high frequency. Oh, You're at a high frequency, dude. You know <laughs> yeah, that. I'm pretty fucking high. I'm buzzing all the time. So thanks for tuning in for yet another episode of the Create You experience. And I don't really have anything else to say. Just we'll see you next time and take some of these golden nuggets and fucking eat them, digest them, and move on through your life and create you. I fell down, got up, I'm unbreakable. Anything in my way, I'ma break through. Lights, camera, action, take two. Can't worry about what they do. You gotta create you.